Yo boys, it's Dan. Welcome to game week number six of the Premier League predictions. Yes, boys, I'm filming this, now. and you can, sorry for, if you can see over in England right now, it's absolutely fucking it down outside now. And we're going to get on to game week number five. We have a guest this week. His name is Josh. Hi, Dan's channel. It is an absolute pleasure to be back here. And yeah, Dan's a top low, very good friend of mine. He does great content, so make sure you keep watching his videos and share it out with everyone. Yeah, it's a great bloke, great channel. And yeah, it's good to be back here on the Premier League predictions. I have won it once or twice, I think. Before I think I won it twice. And yeah, didn't win it last year, but that's fine. I still enjoyed being on here. And yeah, I am, I think, doing game week seven, I believe, maybe. Could be wrong. But yeah, I'm excited to be here doing the predictions. And yeah, let's get started with them. Boys, if you want a discount on your uh, energy, go and get my discount in the description. New Dan 10 at checkout. Peace. And now, the last two guests last week, Sam T got himself 19 points. And Dia Onsala got himself 29 points. That puts himself into second place in the standings. And our first game is Newcastle United versus Manchester City. Now. Man City, as we know, are going to be about Rodri for, for for the foreseeable because he picked up a muscle ligament injury against uh, against Arsenal on Sunday, and that minute will get him up, ended up being a two or draw. And Fulham and Newcastle played out a defeat against New against Fulham, and I'm going to say Man City will. I mean. All them this would be if they hadn't had to go off, could have, I'm gonna go two, two. I'm gonna go two or draw at St James's Park between Newcastle and Man City. And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Right, the first game is Newcastle versus Man City. Um, Newcastle, of course, are a very solid team. They've been solid since their takeover for the last couple of years. They could cause City problems there. They could. Man City seem to win the league every year and they're just awesome, aren't they? They're like probably the best team in the world besides Real Madrid. And yeah, they they could win this game and they've, they've won every game so far in the Prem. But maybe it's going to come to an end in this game. I don't think they'll lose, but I think Newcastle could hold them to a draw. So I'm going to go for Newcastle 1, Man City 1. And we go to Arsenal versus Leicester City now. Now, Arsenal, as we know, played in a tool draw against City and Leicester, played against Everton and they won. No, they drew 1-0. But I don't think Leicester will have much in this game. I think Arsenal will walk it. I think it'll be a 3 nil victory to the Arsenal. They're still about... They could have no wire. Could you pick up an injury against Newcastle, against uh, Spurs against Chelsea as well, against Sid 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 Sid. You want to now a move? And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Arsenal versus Leicester. And look, Leicester have done well to get promoted, but they might go back down. They're just not good enough anymore. They're not as good as they used to be, but look, maybe they'll stay up. Um, and yeah, Arsenal, I don't like them at all. But let's be honest, maybe it'll be third time lucky for them this season. Maybe they will win the league. But it's most likely going to be Man City, isn't it? But look, I don't like Arsenal, but we've got to admit they've got a good team, haven't they? So they're going to win this game against Leicester, and I think it's going to be emphatic. They've won their game so far. They've won a lot of games this season, but not a lot of batterings. 
I think this one's going to be absolute fresh, and I think it's going to be 5 0 to Arsenal. And we move to Brentford versus West Ham United. This is a must win for West Ham. They played Chelsea and they lost. This is a big. They lost. It's a big game for West Ham. They haven't had a good start away. They haven't. They've lost their first three home games. They've won two away. They haven't had a very good start to the Premier League season under Yuji Nakatiki. And I'm going to say, and Brentford, as we know, have, have been the team to far start. They, they, they scored early against Newcastle, against Spurs. They, they scored early against Man City. Can they score early against West Ham? 2-1 West Ham United. They need to bounce back from their win, from, the, from their game. And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Brentford at home against West Ham. Both solid teams that won't go down, in my opinion. Um, Brentford, um, they lost Tony, but they've got Obama and they've got Wisser. They've got they've got good players. Brentford, they're solid and they're good at home, I believe as well. Um, I don't like West Ham at all, but I've got to admit some of their signings have been quite good. They've not started amazing this season, but I like a lot of their new signings, and I think maybe they'll kick start their season. And I think Brentford don't lose at home a lot, but I think maybe West Ham will nick a, a win here. I don't know why, but I think they will. I'm going to go Brentford 1, West Ham 2. Now we move to Chelsea versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, as we know, Brighton were involved in a 2 all draw against Forest on the weekend. And and, from, and Hearts, Francesco Hartzell got himself sent off for... For, in a, it was a crazy, crazy game. If you haven't gone and seen it, it's Morgan Gibbs like and then they get themselves sent off, and then and then Nuno and Hertzler went at one another, got them sent. So they end up being three players sent off: Hertzler, Hertzler, Nuno, and Morgan Gibbs. We'll get onto Forest for, for and their aspirations later. But I think Brighton will do well. We're not, I think Brighton can cause up here. One. One nil. To, I'm going to one nil to Chelsea. I think it will be a close, but I think one nil to Chelsea in this game. And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Chelsea versus Brighton. Um, even though Brighton are a very solid team that have started the season well and they're unbeaten, and they're a solid team, Brighton. But I just think Chelsea might be better. Chelsea have had a very bad two years since their takeover. But they're looking good now and they've, they're picking the right 11 for their team and they've got good players. Again, another team I dislike, but you've got to admit, they're looking good for top six or maybe even top four. They look good, Chelsea. They're really gelling together and I think they're going to beat a tough opponent in Brighton here. I think they're going to make Brighton lose their unbeaten run and I think Chelsea are going to win 2 0. Now we move to Everton versus Crystal Palace. Now Now Everton have to, are still without a win in any league in in the Premier League, but they have got wins in the cup, however. And I'm gonna say, in this game, I think Lest I think Palace will do it. Two 0 win to Crystal Palace to heap even more John Dice. And now and Josh, what are you saying in this game? Now in Everton against Crystal Palace. Um look. Everton have had a few unlucky results, but they're rubbish. They're not good enough, and I think they might go down now. I think their luck might have come to an end, and they might go down. Or they could do what they normally do and survive on the last day. But they look, they're looking, but they're not getting results at the moment. And even though Palace don't look amazing, they've still got players like Eze and Mateta. And I think they're going to just edge it against Everton. It'll be a boring game. Maybe, maybe I think Palace will nick it. You know what, I'll go for Everton 1, Crystal Palace 2. Move to Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. Now, Morgan gibbs White will be suspended for this game and so will Nuno Isbu Tatanta after being fined by the FA. It, all three of them got fined, them, but all three of them got fined, but they'll be without Nuno and, well, they're, 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 they're manager and their centre midfielder. And against the Fulham, against the Fulham team who look very good. I'm gonna say yeah, it will be a two <coughs> two one win 
to Fulham in this game and Josh, what are you saying in this game? Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. And you know what? Nottingham Forest, people people thought they'd probably go down. They'll probably stay up now based on how they've started this season. They've not won a lot of games, but they've drawn a few and they've won a few and they've not lost a game yet. They're unbeaten still, which is quite funny. Um, the unbeaten run will come to an end, but maybe not in this game. Fulham are a solid side. They're mid-table, they'll probably stay up. Um, sometimes they're not too exciting, but look, Fulham will get the job done. They'll probably get the win here, but I don't know. Maybe not in Forest's run will continue. I think the run will continue. I'm going to go Nottingham 1, Fulham 1. 2. Wolves versus Liverpool. Now, Liverpool played out a 3-0 win against AFC Bournemouth on the weekend. And I'm going to... And Wolves, as we know, lost their Black Country derby to... Um, they're like, they haven't won a game in 14 games. They haven't won in. They haven't won any games in the last 15, and they have won one in 14 games. They have won. That's when they've won one in 15, I think. But they won't beat Liverpool four nil. Liverpool can I go mental? And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Wolves against Liverpool, and look, Wolves. They're always quite boring, and they'll always stay up, won't they? Um, but you never know. Um, but they've, they've always had a solid squad. I think they'll be all right. And I think they might give Liverpool a game. Um, but Liverpool probably going to guarantee to get top four. They're a fantastic team. Will they win the league? Maybe or maybe not. But they're always going to be a very good side. Mo Salah, Jota, Diaz. They're so good. They're going to win, I think, Liverpool at Wolves. But I think it will be a close, tight game. I think Liverpool will only edge it. I think it will be Wolves nil, Liverpool one. Now we move to Ipswich versus Aston Villa. Now, Aston Villa, like I said, scored one the black I think to him another another goal from Duran, from John Duran. He keeps on scoring their super sub of the occasion and they play against an Ipswich team who played out a one one draw, got a late equaliser against Southampton. And I'm going to say, I think Villa will have enough. I think 3-1 Villa. And Josh, what are you saying in this game? Ipswich against Aston Villa. This will be a great game, I think. Ipswich probably will go down. I don't think their team is strong enough to stay up. I think they'll go down. But I think they'll get goals. I think they'll have good games like Luton did last season. I think they'll give it a good go, Ipswich. But Villa, on the other hand, are so good. They got top four, and the, the, their squad is just fantastic. You know, John Duran, who's him? <laughs> Who is he? I mean, like honestly, and and and, and Watkins, and oh, they're, they're such a great team, and they're going to win. I think Ipswich. I think this will be a great game with lots of goals. I'm going to go Ipswich two, Villa four. Now we go to the game of the weekend. Manchester United, my team, against Tottenham Hotspur, does his team. Now, what I say, yes, both, both of us have been, both of our teams have, both of our teams have been, let's say, not, not entertaining to watch, let's say that, not, not entertaining at all to watch. I think that it will be dead. I think it will be a close, even game. But I'm going to go with two all draw between Man United and Tottenham Hotspur. And Josh, as a Spurs fan, I bet you're going to go for Spurs. Nick. I don't know what you're going to go for. Josh, go, mate. I've got a very good game here. Only fitting. I'm doing uh, predictions on, on Daniel's channel. And Man United are playing Tottenham. Very tight. Very interesting and very tight, this game. Both Man United and Spurs have had mixed starts to the season because we've both done a right in the Cups. We've got a couple of wins in the Cups and stuff. But in the league, we've both won a couple, drawn a couple, lost a couple. We're both mid-table-ish. It's average for both teams. And that's why I think this might be a draw. That's why I'm going to go for Man United 1, Tottenham 1. But hopefully Spurs win and have a decent season. But I'm going to go for 1-1 this game. 
And now we go to the last game of the game week in AFC Bournemouth versus Southampton. Now, Southampton, as we know, are a very good footballing team away from home. They, they drew against Ipswich, uh, but to Bournemouth as well, good as well. And I'm going to say Bournemouth 2, Southampton 1. And Josh, what are you saying in this game? And the last game, Bournemouth against Southampton. I think with this one, it's pretty simple. Southampton are not great. They'll probably go down. Uh, Bournemouth have been very solid the last couple of years. I don't think they'll be near the drop. They've got some good, exciting players like Semenyo and just very good attackers. They look good. And I think this will be a good game of a few goals. I think it'll be Bournemouth 3, Southampton 1. And that is all the predictions. Good set of games there. I really enjoyed predicting those. Thank you for having me, Dan. And thank you everyone for watching. And up the Spurs, hopefully we can be Man United. But look, I'll take a draw. I'm sure Danny will take a draw as well. Let's just see what happens with that game. But yeah, thanks for having me again, Dan. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Dan. And I'll see you in another video, guys. Peace. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will bring game week number six to an end. Thank you all very much. Now I'll be back on Monday. No, oh, you'll I'll be. Oh, you'll see me tomorrow on Saturday for a video of a different kind, which involves my girlfriend. Uh, we'll she'll mention what we're doing, but you can tell from fun. We'll, we'll we'll see you all tomorrow for a special video with her, and then on Monday you will see. You uh, Champions League game week number two, game week match day number two, and there was a big game of that as well. And I'll see you boys on Saturday for an interesting government video. Until then, boys, like and subscribe. Let's see you all later. Goodbye.